If you have one of these Asus Tough B365M Plus Gaming motherboards and you're missing some drivers, we already ran all the updates and everything, but if we right click the start menu and go to device manager, you'll see that two drivers are missing. So PCI memory controller and SM bus controller. So what you do is you right click here, go to properties, details, hardware IDs. You'll see these, we'll just right click one, copy, usually the top one. All right, and we'll paste that into a web browser. Enter, and you can see these, it's the Intel chipset. And then let's go ahead and check the second one, the SM bus controller. Most likely they're both chipset drivers, okay? So again, we're gonna go details, hardware IDs. We'll right click the first one, copy, okay? And we'll paste it into a browser, press enter. And yep, also chipset drivers. In the browser, we're gonna search the motherboard model number. B365M dash plus gaming, oops. Gaming, all right. Go to that, and here you can see it's on the Asus website. We'll go to that. We'll just ignore that it's not the US website. We'll just say stay here. Go to support, okay, drivers. Make sure you're on Windows 11, okay. You can see all these drivers here. We're gonna say show all. And what we need is the, oh, it doesn't even show here. So we're gonna have to actually change it to Windows 10, 64 bit. And hopefully, here you go. Here's one of the chipset drivers. So we're gonna have to click show all. And most likely it's this Intel chipset driver. So we're gonna download that. So click download over there. We're gonna save, okay. We're gonna open the folder. And extract the chipset driver. So right click that. Go to extract all, then extract. All right, we have the folder it opened. Now we're just gonna click the Asus, Asus setup. Um, you can probably even click the chipset setup, but yes, okay. So they also have the setup chipset thing, but the Asus one should work. We gotta wait for it to come up. There we go, we'll click next, accept, install. Okay, screen goes black, that's okay. And here you can see now this thing opened up, it expanded all of this, but all the drivers are there now. So if we close this, oops, let's go ahead and say okay on this, close that. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and right click the flag again and go to device manager just to make sure. You see, now there's no more missing drivers. So that's pretty much it, we'll restart and that's all there is to it. Okay, apparently there's also an easier way if you get the Asus Q installer and this thing will automatically find the drivers for you. Um, it was showing up down here as this little cloud thing. And then if you open that, basically it popped up a thing saying to agree, and then it shows all the drivers and stuff you can install. So yeah, but the other way, make sure you're just installing only what's missing. All right, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.